Hi guys! In this video we are going to review the top three most comfortable white sneakers. I have been on an ongoing quest. I did one video that um, did really well and since then of course I wear shoes out and I always want to get new ones so I'm constantly on the lookout for new sneakers where fashion meets function and comfort especially for me because I've got um, a lot of walking. I, I walk them on my feet a lot in general every day and we travel Europe a lot and our days easily have 20,000 plus steps in a day so let's get into it first of all um, I like white um, as a base because it goes with most outfits it can go with pants shirts I mean obviously <laughs> pants skirts shorts etc so the first ones I want to talk about I already did mention in my last one it's the p448s these are really worn out. Um, they, I'll try to insert a picture of them when they were new, but I have worn these for at least two or three years now. And so while these are my most com I have an insole that I took out of this and put into a different sneaker, so um, that's why that's not there. But these are awesome. I love the P448s. They have a great toe box up here, so there's lots of room. And this on the sides, being that it's kind of perforated, allows breathability and also a little bit more giving. So like if you have a bone on your leg, that uh, on your foot, it actually is more comfortable on something like that. Um, the tongue is also really um, easy. I can slip these on and off. And it's not a, a major tread, but it does have some traction. It's not just slippery, which I think can be important. So I love, these are still a solid for me, and since they're wearing out, I've been trying to replace them, and so I tried another P448. These are the John, and the John is definitely the one for me. I ordered the Jack, and it had a little bit of a platform, or was it Jack or the Thea? Anyway, it had a little bit of a platform on it, and so it didn't hit me the right way in this part where I can be sensitive on my feet. So I wound up returning them, so I'm still on the hunt. But here's what I did get. In my original video, you would notice these Adidas, and these are still a top hitter for me. I really like those. I think they're like um, in the $30 range or something like that. So in other news, what's the newest ones that I have found are these that I love because they're very similar to the Golden Goose sneakers. I love Golden Goose because they have a star. I love them because they are also a little bit worn and cool street style sneakers. They have an insole that comes out. It also has a little bit of a platform on it, which I love that because I'm only 5'1". So I appreciate any extra height that I can get. And... Um, one thing that you should know, actually, going back to the P448s is and the Golden Goose sneakers, they're both made in Italy. They're both handmade in Italy, I believe. And so they're very, like, artesian-based as a company, as companies, both of them. And they both are recommended to be worn without socks. These um, are the Vintage Havanas. Both of these are. And... They are also meant to be worn without socks, but they have an insole that does not come out. So that's one of the differences that I'm going to talk about between the P448s and the Golden Goose and the Vintage Havana are the insoles. Um, the Vintage Havana are made in China. <laughs> I don't think I don't I think that's what it says is made in China, but so they're not um, Italian made. But they are very cool. They are very comfortable. Um, and I'll go through what I do and don't like about each of them. But um, P448s are solid. Vintage Havana's solid. Adidas, solid. And I'll go into another one as a bonus. So the Vintage Havana's, the, I like these because they are street smart. But they also um, have a little bit of edge to them. Like these have the black and the star. This I love how these are perforated. I got these in a size seven. I got, and then I got this. This is also vintage Havana. And I got these in a size, wait a second, wrong side. I got these in a size eight because I put my inserts in these and so I want more room. And again, on the P448s, 
I also order these in an eight. They And that's the thing with Golden Goose and p 448s is they always only come in whole sizes. I am typically a six and a half. Um, I size up to a seven sometimes. And so in my sneakers, I usually typically would wear a seven, seven and a half because I like to sometimes wear like kind of like thicker socks and stuff like that that have a little bit of padding. And I'll talk more about the socks a little bit later. I do like to wear socks. And so I sometimes will, even though you don't have to wear socks, I still will. And that's when I'll choose something like, these are from Nordstrom. They're like a no-show, really thin sock. And um, so anyway, whole sizes. These I did come in half sizes, the vintage Havanas. And so, um, but like I said, I got a seven and a half. And this one, because I figure I will wear this one just like more regular, I feel like it'll break in easier because it has the perforated sides. That's one of the things I really liked about the people for eights. And then I love the star. I love the um, sparkles. And I got these in the eight because I could put my inserts in. And they have a lot of arch support, which is really important for me. I wore these. I bought these and wore them right away, straight away in Portugal this year. And... I had no regrets. I was able to walk around comfortably. I didn't have any problems at all with blisters or soreness or wishing I didn't wear them. They're fairly lightweight, both pair. And because of the price point, I think I got these at Offset Fifth Avenue. And they were each, I think, they usually would retail for like 160 or 180 And I think I was able to get them at like $80 each or something like that. So I just got both of them because I figured... Why not? I really like them both, and I couldn't figure out which one I liked better. So, anyway, so that's that, and they both have, you know, you can see also, similar to the P448s, these have the toe box that is pretty forgiving. Because these are a size 8, they're a little bit extra wide or extra more wide <laughs> in this area as well for me, and there are a little, there's a little bit of breathing room, but not much. These but they do have like the Terry inside. So they are breathable. And I, like I said, I still wear socks. I usually wear like these kind of little no-show socks from Nordstrom. And I also like these kind, um, which are, what are these? These are Bombas, I think. Be better. These are be better or Bombas, I forgot. But anyway, um, I'll try to link some stuff below. So, I had trouble with Golden Goose, even though they come in whole sizes, because of the way that the insert is. I could not put my, I could not take the, I can take those out, but I can't put mine in and have them fit comfortably. And I think it's because they have the platform insert in the Golden Goose that I tried. And so I, I just couldn't, they didn't fit me well enough for me to justify having my foot not fit in them properly when they're over $500. So I kind of just steered away from them. I really, I think now it's a principal thing. I want to find golden goose that fit me, <laughs> but, um, until I do, I'm not, I'm certainly not going to pay that until I find them. The P448s also made in Italy, also whole sizes, but because it's not a platform, I think my inserts fit in these better. So that's that. So this is definitely still one of my top. So the P448 is one of my tops. Then the Vintage Havana have definitely come in to my zone of top three. I love these. They were very comfortable. They were very cute with all of my outfits in Portugal and just everyday wear and stuff like that. And I'll put these together because these I also have been wearing around town and these are also very comfortable and the reason that I didn't take these is because they don't match as much with the black. I would have, like if I had more black that I packed, I probably may have tried these. But I like my inserts when I'm walking a lot because of the arch support and stuff like that. So these are definitely top three. And then I'm still standing behind my, my Adidas that you could have seen in the first video. I really love these. They're really basic. And you can see I've worn these out. I could actually probably use a new pair. But since I've gotten into some of these other ones, I probably like a little bit better looks-wise. So I'm not going to just replace these. And you can see I put a Dr. Scholl's insert. These came with a cloud memory foam insole. And it was comfortable. But I, again, I have 
arch issues. <laughs> so I definitely put my own things in for the arches, but these, this was a pale pink before it got so worn out, but they come in all different colors. So you can get your favorite color. It has the perforated size, so it's breathable and comfortable, flexible, a nice sized toe box. And I love the tongue on these because they're really, you can still slip these on. That's one of my things too with sneakers, even my sneakers that I work out in. I don't like to tie my sneakers. I like to slip them on and off and I want them to stay on anyway. And so these, um, I do have these tied, but I never untie them. And that's the other thing that you can notice about the vintage Havana's. They have the little knot here, which just looks so cute. I love how these look without having to tie them. I just love it. And then you, what I've done is I just put the laces behind the tongue. So I just go like that and slip my foot in and I don't have to ever tie them and they don't come untied. So that's a bonus too. I love that. And same thing with these. Well, this isn't quite the same. These laces, it came with another pair of laces, but I kept these on this pair. And these, I don't have to do that trick underneath the tongue because they just stick out like this. And I, and I love that. I think that's just so cute. And the style on these um, has the metallic, the perforated. I just love, love, I'm so obsessed with these vintage Havana sneakers. I can't get enough of them. So anyway, um, so those are my top three. So we have the Adidas that you saw in the last video probably. If you saw that one, if you didn't, you should um, go ahead and check that one out too. The vintage Havana's, I'm gonna place these two as as one because it's the same brand and then the p448s are definitely still on the top of my list and if i find a pair that are cuter than these then i probably would still get the p448s again in the john i didn't like the way that the others fit me as well and that's one thing i would say if you're going to order a couple of pairs order them and wear them around a little bit on a rug um, because if you do, if you if they can see that they're worn, they won't take them back, and you don't want to have, you know, even the P448s are not as expensive as the Golden Goose, but they're still like a few hundred dollars, like two to four hundred dollars, depending on which ones you get. So you know you want to make sure that they're comfortable and that they fit you before you just get stuck with them. So don't wear them out before you determine if they fit you well and if they're comfortable for your feet. You know, feet are important because they hold the whole weight of our whole body. So you need to make sure that what you're wearing is comfortable and healthy for your feet. So, so I wanted to just say I don't mind spending a lot of money on shoes and sneakers that I'm going to wear, not only because they hold up the whole rest of my body and it's important to treat your feet well, but if I gain or lose weight, my shoes will still fit me, my bags and purses will still fit me, and my jewelry and stuff will still fit me. So... There's that. If you're going to splurge, I would say shoes, bags, and jewelry are always a safe bet. Okay, so I want to give honorable mention to two other pair of sneakers that I do wear running errands. They're very comfortable for, I would say, short lengths of time. And one is my original Adidas. These, I just have the regular insoles in. Again, I leave them tied and slip on. They have a, a decent tongue and they have some perforation for breathability. I love these with the black stripes because it's really cute if you're wearing anything with black in it, but these are not the most comfortable to wear for a long time. I actually wore these to a beer festival when I first got them, and I wound up having to go to the podiatrist and get some stuff for my feet because I got a weird cramp in my foot wearing these for too long, and I was literally on my feet for you know like a full eight hour day or something like that. So I only wear these in short, in short doses or like when I'm going to get my hair done or something like that because they're cute, but I don't, if I'm not going to be standing all day, like if I'm running to the grocery store and stuff like that, that's one thing, but I wouldn't wear these on an all day tour or something like that. Um, but having said that, I still love these. And then the other ones are these, these are Steve Madden. How can we see that? There we go. So these are Steve Madden. And they're really cute because they've got the bling and they've got a platform heel in here are built into the sole. They've got nice traction and stuff like that. 
this insole does come out, I, but it's pretty comfortable, um, so I didn't take it out. I wore these to Pennsylvania when we were, um, my husband had a business trip, and so I was touring the city by myself the whole day, and at one point, I was not done, and I was like, I have got to go back to the hotel because my feet are killing me. And I know I had some walking left to do the next day and then through the airport because this was the only – I brought this and then I brought my Valentino Rockstead pumps. So I was not going to wear those around the city. Even though those are really comfortable, I could dance all night in them. But anyway, these are really cute. I love to wear these to run errands as well. They, I love that they have a little bit of a, you know, of a platform. They have the bling. But these are not – anything I will ever take on a trip with me again. And they're also kind of heavy. So even if you were just gonna wear them around a little bit on a trip, they're kind of heavy to pack. And I wouldn't wanna wear these all through the airports because sometimes airports can have a lot of walking and fast walking. So I would say these are awesome and they're, and they're also very comfortable because this is really flexible and everything like that and breathable. You don't have to tie them, they slip right on. It's almost like a scuba you know, like a wetsuit, and it's flexible. I love that. But again, and the, well, these aren't white either, but these are just, a, but these are a bonus. So anyway, I do love these for errands only. And so those are honorable mention, but you can see here the three that I really like the most, including my, or no, not these Adidas, where's the other ones? Ah, oh, here they are. <laughs> so there, there's that. So there you have it. Those are my top three with a couple of bonuses for everyday uh, sneaker wearing. And then I also have um, my you know workout sneakers, trainers, whatever you want to call them. And those are not white. They have a big white sole that kind of has a platform. And I do have inserts. I have um, Dr. Scholl's inserts in these. And I, again, they have the similar um, things that are really comfortable because it's like that flexible and it also is breathable. I don't ever have to tie them. It has that same kind of scuba sock entry and stuff like that. Um, and these are very flexible. So I wear these when I'm working out at the gym and love these. So okay. there you have it, top three. Check out the links below. And if you have any comments or things to add, think maybe another pair I should try. I got one pair for my next video that um, somebody had left in the comments. So if you have something you think I should try out, please put it in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I hope that you'll stick around and check out the other video if you haven't seen it yet.